Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and I'm a day late again. However, I was going to go ahead and do another video, just an informational video about some different stuff on the machine, and I got my computer back. So instead, I thought, you know what, I'll just be day late one more time and spend the time getting my computer hooked up so I can go cut something. So that's what we're doing today. So I've got the computer hooked up, uh, the machine's all set back up, the machine works, and we're gonna go cut one of the reefs that we programmed Monday. This will be the first reef that we programmed. You remember the one with all the leaves and the berries and the one that I explained. I'm now I'm gonna shoot a, back, a black background and the edges, and then my wife's gonna paint the rest of it. I'm not patient enough to hand paint that thing and get around all the edges. <laughs> Just makes me shiver thinking about it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cut a Christmas wreath, so let's go.
So that was it. It came out pretty much like the program. I mean, that's that's pretty much what I look at. That's how I know when something's going to work. Whenever you see me pro when I program it, and I, I already have a good idea how it's going to come out. One big problem with this one, right around these edges, and I've talked about this before when I did the out outline of it. I wished I would have put like a two tenths offset, which means that when it cut around it, it would have just bumped out and just left a little lip. That just keeps it a little cleaner looking because there are a couple of places where it got a little hairy. It got into the, the border just a little bit. But all in all, it came out looking cool. I mean, it's gonna look great with a red bow and the little green leaves and the red berries. It'll be awesome. I just don't know how long that'll take to paint. But I don't have to do it this time. So another thing you'll notice, uh, <laughs> You know, whenever I get done cutting here lately, I've been shooting the whole thing with polyurethane. And you'll notice I didn't on this one. Actually, I did. It's just, you know, I've been doing this for, you know, two years now. And again, I forgot to turn on the camera. And so you didn't get to, which you didn't miss anything. It was just me spraying the side with the, or the plaque with a can of polyurethane. But it just amazes me that sometimes I still forget to turn the camera on. Amazing. So the next video, it may or may not be that other wreath. Uh, we have got some Christmas lights, so I will be altering a little bit if I do that one for Monday. And uh, it, <clears throat> I'll have to do a few more measurements. And I'll probably go ahead and try to drill the holes with the machine just because I'll be able to lay it out and I can. it'll be laid out exactly like we want it and for the exact number of lights. Not promising that's what we're going to do for Monday, but... Uh, Right now, I think so. I may run across something that I like better between now and then. Never can tell. So guys, that's going to be about it for this one. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.